welcome back to Tai Well, I'm your host Donald Wanda, back with the lovely person called Nuance. You remember Nuance saying she used to do stuff with us, but now she's too goddamn busy to come on camera and do some recordings, man. What happened, girl? We miss you, don't you miss her? Who misses me? You Everybody miss me? misses you. Don't Leaving that pause me. there. Whatever. Anyway, we're running out of time, guys. <laughs> I wanted to do this quick recording because then I have to get my iPad out here for notes. You want to say, there's certain things you watch that I, I just don't really understand. And there's certain shows that she catches that I just can't bring myself to watch. We're going to talk about Extant. Extant? I can't remember. The thing that, the worst thing about it is, I can't remember how to pronounce it. If it's Extant, Extant, Exit. I should put that one there glasses on. Extant. I, I, extant? I, I think it's Extant. I think it's harder <clears> because we're English also to say that word. Do you not think so? Yeah, but whatever. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. So basically, this show came on. I'm not going to say when. Oh, you watched gosh. it recently. I couldn't bring myself to watch it. The word of mouth on the show is, it's terrible. A lot of people say it's actually not that good. And when I saw the premise, because of like, uh, Sound of Bullets Gravity and Interstellar, yeah. I felt like they were cashing in on this whole s space type of stuff that we're seeing now. So when I saw this show with Halle Berry, I thought, Halle Berry's a good actress. But the, and when I saw the trailer, the promo, and I saw what it was about, da, 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 I thought, I'm not going to watch this shit. And the, the reception wasn't good. To add to that, I went on YouTube to find a review before we even did this recording. I couldn't find one person on YouTube doing YouTube search people mm -hmm. that hadn't watched more than two episodes. And I watched the whole thing. I don't even know if I've got a problem or whether I should pat myself on the back. What is Extant about, for those who don't know? You know what? It's it's a very simple story. It's about a scientist who goes into space and gets pregnant and comes back to Earth. Gets pregnant? How did she get pregnant in space? By an alien. She's on her own. She's on her a, own. A lone astronaut in space. In space. space and she gets comes pregnant back. by an alien. Yeah. Comes back to Earth and... Mysteriously impregnated. Yeah. And supposedly nobody knew this happened. Right. Obviously. How long was she there for? Oh God. I think it was six. I think it was six months. She she goes up there. She's kind of this scientist. Works for this really important high class company, and it's not a government thing. That's what I find is really weird. It's not like a government experiment. It's not like a government company. It's just like this company. It's an independent office. Yeah, independent kind company. of thing. Yeah, it's like an independent. Like company. if Richard Branson or Virgin Indeed. Airlines. Indeed. Yeah. Because exactly. he wants to do that. You know that as well, right? Yeah. I don't know if he wants to impregnate a woman in space, but he does want to have his own privatized space industry thing. So. Okay, that's interesting, the pilot comment. Well, yeah, well, anyway, yeah. So she goes up there, runs her experiments or whatever that mm -hmm. they that she she does up there. And then she comes back down, not feeling well. She goes for a checkup and she finds out she's pregnant um, by an alien, obviously. And the funny thing is that her husband, who is played by, I always call him Luca from ER, and I know I shouldn't. Uh, I'll people, put his name on but, the But, you know, put it yeah, there. Luca, because you know that's the last time I saw him. I'm sure I saw him in something else, but I can't remember. I think you were in an action movie. What was? Yeah. yeah, he was, but I know it was five minutes. I know he yeah. died quite quickly. Not only is she pregnant by an, an alien, but her husband has made them a child, a robot child, I robot child. Okay. So not only has Halle Berry got some miraculous. So not only has she got an fantasy. alien baby. Yeah. But she's got a robot little boy as well at home. Just, just before anyone cries out, they, does she even know? Well, you assume it's an alien baby because no one was up there. So, just in case it was a spoiler, spoiler, but it, you kind of obvious that it had to be some kind of extraterrestrial. Yeah, well, even though I'm supposed to reveal later that it was an alien. Is it no? From day near enough from day one. Would you consider it a spoiler? Which is what I'm getting at. What that, to find out she's having an alien baby? That's an alien baby. It's no, not really. You wouldn't consider it no, a spoiler. Just in case. All. Question. Is it any good? Fuck no. You know what? I was thinking of other things to say, and this is what I'm gonna, this is what I think, yeah? It was just too much shit. And it actually felt like it should have been a film. My issue is, yeah, Hayley Berry. Hayley? Hallie? Oh, my, Americans. 
Halle Berry <laughs> is an act is a movie actress, and mm-hmm. I know that everybody's transitioning over to TV, mm-hmm. and sometimes it's working out quite fruitfully, and sometimes it's not. And this is one of the occasions where it's not at all. So you're saying there was too much going on. It was too much. I think the problem, the main issue that I have with this is that it is two stories into one. It just feels like an amalgamation of every kind of sci-fi movie Mm -hmm. I've seen trying to be put into to a film, and it wasn't necessary. Number one, right? Maybe if they just stuck to one premise, i.e., Haley Baby being pregnant with an alien baby, isn't that enough? But no, I thought that was all it's about. I didn't know it was about some. AI kid as no, well. No, it's also about a boy who, the first non-human, that's what the... The first of his kind as yeah, well. Yeah, the first non-human ever made by the husband. Wow, that is a bit too much. So it's like, so you're. I'm watching this and I'm like, this is too much. Like, you could have made a series on either one of them. And to be fair, I would have preferred you make a series on the AI child. Okay. As opposed to Hayley Berry being pregnant. We've seen all this before. I watch Aliens. I don't need to see another one being pregnant by Alien. We've watched the Aliens. I'm sure there's other things that I've watched that I can't remember right now where I see people being pregnant. I don't need to see pregnancies. I don't need to see alien pregnancies. And I don't need to wonder how an alien pregnancy happens. I'm not interested. This is what happens, right? She gets pregnant by the alien baby. Then the company actually wants to take the baby away from her. So when she's like three months pregnant or whatever the hell she is, they laser out the baby out of her stomach and the baby grows in a, in a, like a test tube by itself. Where does the show excel? What's the good thing about the show? You have to give it praise in some aspects. To tell you the truth, the only thing that I can, the best thing about the show is actually the props around the show. Okay. Does that make sense? In, in the sense of the, the technology mm-hmm. that we are nearly in already mm-hmm. in regards to, what's that Google thing? Google Glass? No, not that. Or the, the holographic stuff? No, the little, the pod thing that they put in, that I saw that you put on the... Um, you mean the Amazon... Oh, it's Amazon. What that do you Amazon it's thing where you talk yeah. to it and it talks back to Yeah, and it talks back to like what's it called? Yeah, like you call it, hey, I'll, Kate. I'll on the screen. Yeah. yeah, hey, Kate. Yeah. Could you tell me how to get to blah, blah, blah? You know, that kind of thing, so... Well, what about the visuals? You saying that the pod, the visuals look good? <sighs> there weren't really any visuals, really, that are any different from what we've got now. It's like the technology is quite, this is why I have to just talk about the technology because the technology is quite close to what we are dealing with right now in the sense of, you know, the Skype and the the FaceTiming and stuff like that. And they had bits where pictures turned into, you know, um, um, telephones and things like that. Did you feel like the future was that her movie? Yeah, it felt like it was like in the next 10 years, we're all going to be here. Like her? Yeah, like like her, in a sense. And so that was really, really good. But really, apart from that, yeah... I was about to ask you, where did it fail next? Everything failed. Everything else is still Everything fails. To tell you the truth, yeah, while I was watching it, I felt like I was watching a really, really long movie. And the reason why I I watched all of it is because I was actually doing something and I needed 5% of my attention to be off what I was doing. And this took up the 5% of my attention, people. That's all you need. You were multitasking. 5%. Hell yes. And this was the best way to do it. I needed something. If you need something in the background, do you know, like a, like lounge music, this is like, you know, the epitome of a lounge movie where it's kind of in the background and you're not thinking. Because if you were going to think about this, if you're going to watch this with 100%, you're going to be like, why the fuck am I wasting my life and 20 hours watching this piece of shit? I've got, I've got to ask you much. about the performance itself. Well, were the performances bad? There was, like I said, there's nothing wrong with Hayley Berry's acting except for the fact that she acted like she was in a movie and not in a TV series. And those two, the, those are two different things. Okay. Yeah. No problem with that acting. And the other cast? Um, Luca, sorry, I can't help it. What's Luca? Just look like he. And the other side like characters, I mean, on the whole, did it just feel like a low budget? Bad TV production because it wasn't low. It didn't feel. It wasn't low budget. It's Steven Spielberg. It's not low budget, right? It didn't feel low budget. Mm. You know the 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 scenery was nice. The houses were nice. You know, sci-fi was great. But now we're in a stage right now where those kind of things that are everywhere. Do you know what I mean? I just watched uh, Marvel. What's it? Agents of Shield, and it's, it's not near enough the same. Do you know what I mean? There's no, there's 
There's no real difference. I didn't look at it and I wasn't amazed. But nowadays, how can you really be amazed with with what we're seeing on the TV right now? What we're seeing on the TV right now is exactly near enough the same as what we're seeing in movies. So I wasn't that way. I wasn't that way inclined to be amazed by it. You did bring up a good point that Steven Spielberg executively produced this. Yeah. A lot of the ideas that everyone said have been filled like they're cobbled, cobbled from all these other sci-fi shows. Yes. And ironically, you said you just watched it, right? Yeah. It was released last year, July 2014. It did get greenlit for a second season, which is actually about to air. In oh, about, God. In about you know, weeks. I know why it got greenlit for a second season. And to tell you the truth, the, the reason why, and this is a spoiler, I guess. Do you so. really want to give a spoiler? You got a warning, but if you, do you feel you need to, I don't care. If you want to go on, they've given it's you because time. The reason why it's got a second series is because both of her children are still around and still survive and her, her alien baby becomes, is on the earth and is walking around. Okay. He's got some sick, crazy, uh, sorry, but I didn't Why is that a spoiler if they're still around? They, they didn't die. Well, you don't know, we haven't watched it, so. Yeah, I know, I don't know why I think. But anyway, but both of the children are, are about, one of them's turned into something else and one of them is now an alien, half alien spawn. But I did, one thing I didn't mention is that the child, the alien spawn child has um, this power where it can bring your loved ones back to back to to earth but not really he just goes in your brain from the death yeah but he doesn't really what he does is he messes with your brain okay. that's all he really really does so will you be watching the second season no. that's about to end you're watching and would would you recommend the show given the planet tower rating you know what i would say vanilla the reason why is because for me personally it's fucking clown shoes right but that's because I have a wealth of knowledge about sci-fi. We read, you know, we read a lot of sci-fi books. I am, I have a good understanding, I have a good background. So to me, this is fucking clown shoes. I don't really need to hit, read this shit. I don't need to see this shit. My eyeballs at one point did feel like they were bleeding when I did give it more than 5% of my time. <laughs> when you weren't multitasking. Yeah, when I weren't multitasking, I was actually sitting there. And then I started to like zone out and go, why am I watching this? So for me, you know, I think it's, Clown shoes, but for some other people they'd find it vanilla because I suppose if you've never watched a sci-fi program before, you would maybe find this slightly intriguing, In especially this day and age. well, especially if you haven't watched anything to do with um, robot children, you may find it interesting. And you know what? I would say, like I just said before, I would have watched a second season if they just concentrated on the AI boy. On the one enemy. Yeah. I, I think that's enough for that. People, you get the gist of the idea. It's just going to be... You're going to see the edited down version because we like to keep it tight now on Planet Tower. And yeah. you won't say, even though she thinks... You thought you didn't have a lot to say, didn't you? But look at this. You went on for probably about 15, 20 minutes already. No way. Yeah, way. Talking about bullshit. Fuck it out. Anyway, guys, you asked for it actually you didn't. But we wanted to tell you because... Who would ask for this? And actually, can I say this is your fault? This is your fault. I don't need to ever watch. Don't tell me about things again like this. You told me about this. You would have watched this shit all. No, I wouldn't yeah. have watched it all we by myself. You saw Halle Berry, you saw no. that poster, you were looking no. into the sky. And the and worst thing thought, about. What is that about? Not and really. She wasn't looking know. into the sky. She was looking into her baby, a picture of the baby, and then the, the planet. Look at the picture. People think that there's not a baby in the picture. There is a baby in that picture. Scary. Very. <laughs>